I, I like stay I still like staying in hotels and places like that too, but there's something about going out camping. You get to experience it in a whole nother way. Every morning, cup of coffee, sitting outside on the balcony or the porch and reading her Bible. Like I recommend you guys to get out on motorcycles. I recommend you guys to get campers so we can all go camping. Let's go camping together. I got to run. All right, guys, it is a beautiful day today, and I'm here in Navarre Beach. Look how nice that is. A couple months back, I bought a camper, and a lot of people have been asking me, like, hey, Tall, where's the camper? They haven't seen it. So today's video, I'm gonna show you the camper, and if this is your first time coming to the channel, let me tell you, this channel is usually not about campers. My name is Tall, and this is YouTube channel, Traveling Tall, and it's about motorcycles, test rides, tutorials, demos, product reviews, installations, and of course, traveling. And the camper is a toy hauler, so I guess it's about motorcycles too. But if it's your first time coming to the channel, or you might have clicked on this thumbnail to gain some information, you might be a first time camper. Let me uh, give you some insight on some of the things that you're gonna need when you're starting off on a camper. And for the people that watch the channel on a regular basis, let me show them the camper. So we're gonna do, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. So let's get started. That's the camper up there. My 18RR gray wolf black label see the side rusher bike there that's the little e-bike okay so first off that's the exterior of it it's like a, i don't know if you can see it on camera it's like a gray color the awning is out has the little blue lights up there and has speakers right here now this camper is unique because it has a lift kit on it I didn't want a lift kit on it. It just so happened that I bought this camper with the lift kit on it. So it has off-road, the off-road package. See the off-road tires and the camper is lifted up. Now being a black label, it makes it means that it's a smooth side camper. Smooth side, black label. And it has a few little extras that the regular 18RR doesn't have, toy hauler doesn't have. But you can see there you have the lights underneath there and there was a lot of decals on it. It just had way too many decals on it. I didn't like all the decals, so I took them off. And as I'm at the front of the camper, I'll show you this. That's the tow vehicle, 1500 Duramax. So it's a diesel, 1500 3.0, the baby diesel. This is the front of the camper. Oh, didn't show you this right here. This is my HD, my Harley Davidson fire pit. Check that out, pretty cool. That's the Harley Davidson canopy right there that we take to the beach. A couple of things that you're gonna need when you start off camping. These things right here, the chemical blocks. I think that's what they're called, but you can use them for several different things. You can use them for the, uh, for the, uh, for the jack, the tongue jack to uh, lift it up a little bit more. And so it's not sitting on the concrete or not sitting in the dirt or the grass or the gravel or whatever. And those right there, they come in a pack of 10 got them off Amazon. Everything that I got, I got off Amazon. I'm gonna put that in the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Now, you're gonna need those. I think we have three packs of those, but let me show you. So, right here, under that jack stand right there, that is not to uh, level the camper, that is to support the camper. Just uh, to let people know that you don't wanna to try to level it with that, you use those to support it. And then right here, we'll just go all the way around. This is the Rhino hose that we got with the uh, elbow clear connector. That's the worst part of camping right there. Now that is a 10 foot hose, but with that 10 foot hose, we were at a campsite and it, it wasn't long enough. So we needed an additional 10 foot hose. So we got a 10 foot hose with a connector on it. So it made it 20 feet. So, and then this little thing right here makes it where the sewer hose runs downhill. Um, you want it to run downhill. You don't want it to just sit there with a little dip in it because then all the sewer just sit in it and that's disgusting. Didn't bring the key, but that is the uh, shower, outside shower, little shower hose there. It's the black tank flush. Again, you see the off-world wheel package again here, right there. And they are um, 15s, 15s. What I want to show you underneath here is, is pretty interesting. You can see it has these little uh, ramp looking things and these are the anderson leveling blocks so they they look like a ramp 
and uh, they come apart. It's like a little half pipe looking thing and they come apart. And what you do is you back up on them to a certain point. And the more you back up on them, the higher the uh, wheel gets off the ground and then you put it in park and then you put the other little piece in front to lock it down. You see what I'm saying there? Like there, right here, how it locks it down. So because that side was the low side, this side, I mean, sorry, this side was the low side, that side was the high side. So I had to come over on this side and lift up. Now I skipped my water hose. This is the water hose for drinking water. You have that in white. I have another water hose that I'm not gonna get out. It's in orange, it's just for the black tank flush that we have. You can get all this stuff from, again from Amazon. Now as we come here, this camper is a 30 amp camper and it has right there you see that that's the connector for that and you never want to trust campground power so you always want some sort of surge protector on there and we have a surge protector right here this progressive industries surge protector plugs in right there 30 amp service again took a lot of the uh badging off the side we didn't like all that here's my favorite part of this camper here it's a toy hauler that i use to haul my harley one harley fits in there um but when i don't have the harley in there i mean just regular camping is great because you have all the extra space on the inside and it's a small toy hauler it's not a huge toy hauler since it's a toy hauler it has a door right so this is the door here check that out that is the screened in back porch now it these these actually close right here where the whole thing is blocked off but we have it because we don't want to obscure the view check the view out so with the screen in back porch you see my harley davidson chairs out there my thermos there too and kessler's uh <laughs> his little mattress that he's laying on this is great guys being here at nighttime with that down sitting out there looking at the water that's my favorite thing about this camper there's some things that i don't like about this camper and if you want to see that in a video make sure that you uh comment let me know because i could tell you some things about this camper that i wish i would have did some of the mistakes and purchases in this one that i would like to uh fix on the next one we buy because once you get camping in your blood there's no getting it out and plus i grew up camping that's kind of like that been a thing for years but yeah so there it is has a uh, backup camera on the back of that and that is the outside besides this let me show you this right here the lease latch right there <laughs> we got the bike locked up to it and uh, the blue accent lights and the blue outside speakers the uh, cable right here for your cable which we don't we didn't even bring a tv we use our devices we don't care about tv got the uh 110 outlet right there that's the thing where you can put the tv and the speakers light up blue as well at nighttime this door is exclusive to the black label which i got fingerprints all over it right now but the whole thing is not a window just like a little part up there is just a window so you can see through so that's what it looks like now, real fast before I go inside, I'm going to show you something real fast. We have a 12 volt refrigerator, okay? And if you have a 12 volt refrigerator, the refrigerator is about right here. You don't have to have that vent. So it looks really nice and clean on the outside without having that vent for the refrigerator. You still have the vent for the hot water heater and stuff like that in your, you know, but, oh, and I have a power tongue. Yeah. Another thing you're gonna need before I go inside right here, you'll see that. I got that from Harbor Freight. Not the best place to buy that. That is um, a hitch. Um, oh man, I can't even think what I'm saying. Not a leveling hitch, it's a hitch. That weight distribution hitch, not the best thing. I, I, I should have paid more money and got something better cause it still sways and yeah, I regret buying that. All right. And here's the new steps, how the steps are now. They just fold up right into side, right inside the camper there. So let's go inside and let me show you what everything looks like in here. So we're going upstairs. I have the little grab handle right there. This 
right here. That's what everything looks like. I need to turn some lights on so you can see. This is your instrument panel showing you everything. The fresh tank, it's the water that you can use when you're on the road. The black tank, that's the water that uh, you can empty. You know, that's where all the, yeah, the nasty stuff goes to. And the gray tank, it's the water for the kitchen sink and for the showers. And then I have my awnings here, retractable, extend, and the hot water heater and the water pump and the living room lights and exterior lights and the awning lights, all right there. And I can use it from my cell phone. Everything I can turn on and off from my smartphone. So I'm not gonna go back here, back there. Let me turn this on. I'm not gonna go back there. That's the bedroom. It's just a queen size bed. The mattress is horrible. We have a topper where we added a foam posturpedic thing on top of it and it made it a whole lot better. Not perfect, but better, but better. Without it, you're gonna wake up with body pain, <laughs> seriously. All right, so here's another place where the TV goes right there and you see there's a thermostat for the heat and Kessler's food down there. You'll see the tow hooks, D-rings for the motorcycle and I didn't tell you about the windows, but the windows are different in a black label. And here's the refrigerator, stainless steel, black stainless steel here. Freezer up top, nothing in there, just a short trip. And we got it packed full of stuff in the refrigerator, so I'm not showing you that. But anyway, you have the two windows there and they open right here, right there, and they open, they just pop out. So they don't slide or anything, they just pop out. That's how these windows open here. Now you have more D-rings here. You have the pantry right here. And here you have oven, a gas oven, never used it. A gas range, never used it. Microwave up top, um, a form sink, under mount sink, and solid surface countertop right here. And what I like this, we have this little pot, pot washer for the, for the sink. And, and the little hand pump for the soap right there. Cabinetry under there, cabinets up here. This is where your radio is. Uh, Cause you have speakers on the inside. I'll show you that in just a second. But I'll show you now. You got speakers on the inside, speakers on the outside, and they're up here, right there with the subwoofer. Now back here, let me show you. That's the air condition up top, and you have several plugs throughout the whole camper. Now right here is the table. When you have the motorcycle in here, this table is stowed away, and this couch it's flipped up so the motorcycle can drive straight in. And you, you can see, see how it goes right there? The motorcycle will uh, strap down. You see some more D-rings right there. Up here you have a skylight that opens and closes. And I told you about the subwoofers, they're lit too. You can turn them on, they have a blue accent at nighttime. So out here again, but well, before I go out there, let me show you my wife's, one of my wife's favorite things. Right here, her Keurig, her Keurig, she's always, this is the camping Keurig. At home, she has an espresso, but when she's camping, she has the Keurig. She loves this thing. So she, every morning, cup of coffee, sitting outside on the balcony or the porch and reading her Bible every morning. And look at this, wouldn't you? Look at the scenery out here. So we're gonna go through here. This zips up and these flaps come down. So if you wanted to uh, leave this down at night, you can. And we've left it, we leave it down at night most of the time. So let's go through here. So here it is, this party deck, it'll hold a thousand pounds. And uh, that chair, not the chair, the table, we actually, we bring that table, we set it out here, and this is where we eat. Because who wouldn't want to eat out here? Look at this, check that out. So I think that is everything when it comes to, oh, I haven't shown the bathroom. All right, I think that's everything in here. So let me show you the bathroom and then we will uh, end this video. 
this is the bathroom. You can see the little toilet there with the, you step on that to flush it. Um, sink, medicine cabinet, GFI plug there, and lights right there. A uh, place to put your stuff on the sink. And then right here, you have the little shelves on the side. And this is the, uh, has four heads. Big one right here, this one, this one, and you have the knobs down there, and then you have this little wand here. That shower head comes up to about right there on me. <laughs> Being six foot six, it is not easy to take a shower in this thing. And as nice as this thing looks, it really is a pain. It gets in your way. Now, the only way that I could fit in the shower is because of this skylight right here. You see that? My head is up here in the skylight in the shower. Uh, when it comes to camping, you can't really expect to be that comfortable in things this size. You have to go up to a bigger camper or something that, it, I mean, this size is a nice size, but if it wasn't a toy hauler, they would have more room to do other things. So you make the adjustments and I'd rather have more room in the rest of the camper because I don't live in the bathroom. You know, this also, it doesn't come standard. It's a black label. All right, guys, that is it. It's a, it's a great experience camping. I'm glad I got a chance to show you guys the camper and uh, it allowed us to go to some really cool places. I, I like stay, I still like staying in hotels and places like that too, but there's something about going out camping. You get to experience it in a whole nother way. Because when I wake up at 6 a.m. and I step out the camper and I see stuff like this, sunset going down, well, in the morning, I wake up to be a sunrise. As I'm sitting on the balcony, it's just a blessing, it is. I recommend, like I recommend you guys to get out on motorcycles, I recommend you guys to get campers so we can all go camping. Let's go camping together. Guys, so I'm about to go get some wood to put in this uh, fire pit and sit out here and enjoy the rest of the night. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe again check out all the other stuff on YouTube. I got uh, maybe two more camping videos and maybe I'll have more coming soon, but hopefully you stick around for the motorcycle stuff. Because on motorcycles, I ride the bikes and I go to cool places. So even if you don't have a motorcycle, you will enjoy the uh, some of the road trips that I've taken. All right, guys, one well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Keep gliding, as always, have a blessed day.